Okay, so, so who wants to do the countdown for us? Uh, Spyro and 12, maybe? Yeah, I can do the countdown for you. Uh, okay. Right. You guys ready then? Yep. Yep. Three, two, one, go, 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 go. So yes, we'll see a round, round one Group C match for the Dragon Racing World Cup. I'm Desmond Monkey, and um, our new contender here is... Well, actually, I'm not sure how you want it. Call uh, yourself. You also... Uh, my name is... Uh, there we go. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Anyhow, we're so, doing a... Uh, Race to uh, get 20 dragons, 2,000 gems, and Magic Crafters is forbidden. <laughs> so. Also, all level she is active. Yep, so that makes things a little easier. Now, let's see if I have any luck with uh, Sunny Flight here <laughs> versus last time. Yeah, I'm not gonna do Sunny Flight. Sunny Flight is both a risky decision, but it pays off in the long run. Interested in saying, like, I, 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 the I'm long game. Yeah. I hear him, but I can't see him. There he is. Come here. Oh, yeah, the, the plane guys are always in the way. <laughs> I lost track of the train. Actually, no, I got the train. I'm gonna get all the all the dragons and artisans first, and then I'm just gonna go for all Okay. So we'll see uh, which strategy pays off here. That's more about execution as well. Yeah, like you can have a good strategy, but if it's not executed well. Yeah. Like, going to the flight level is a good strategy, but if you fail over and over, it's not a good one. Okay, so there we go. Dark Hollow. Like, oh, I missed it. Uh, so I have 50 gems, or about 50 gems. Alright. Figured I'd go to Dark Hollow anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm in Dark Hollow right now. Yeah, I should keep in mind I'm not restricted to Dark Hollow. I can leave any time I want. <laughs> Just doing it because, you know, it's, it's close by. Why not? And some easy dragons in there. Yeah. Yeah, Dark Hollow is like probably the easiest level in the game. Dark Hall is just that one level that doesn't get a lot of love in speedruns. Yeah, I, I really, I really enjoy Dark Hall. Yeah, same here. <clears throat> Surprised on how many um, gems those uh, big marks get in the hallway. Maybe like five gems. Oh, really? Yeah, maybe like five gems. Here. Someone actually using the bowling move? What? I mean, you know, there's a few chests here. I'm not just gonna turn around. I'm just gonna roll into it instead. Fair enough. Hey, what's the what's the one ever in any other Spyro game, or is it just um one mainly? It just one. It was in a Spyro 2 demo, but they removed it. Uh, yeah, they realized nobody used it. Eh, well. I guess in general, yeah. No one used it. I think that's mostly because the game doesn't tell you about it. True. I didn't find out about the rolling until like my second or third playthrough. Okay, I should 
should probably not worry about gems here. I, I accidentally used the roll when I was, uh, when I was playing the game when I was a little bit younger. Um, I was like, I was trying, I think it was like, I don't know, I, I was just messing around with the buttons and I hit the um, roll button. And that, that was the first time I even noticed it was a thing. It was funny, you could have actually done some like cool little puzzles with the rolling ability. Hmm. I'm not sure um exactly <laughs> what maybe to like supercharge by just rolling down the ramp or something, I don't know. No, that would be a good idea. Then again it wouldn't be called a supercharge, would it? But still. <laughs> it's a super roll. Yeah, it had like Activision take notes. Yeah, you know, supercharge, you'll be facing 90 degrees on next ramp. Kind of change the getter that way. Anyhow. Kind of strange, right? Because I'm not getting enough dragons here. <laughs> I'm not getting enough dragons permitted. <laughs> I'm on five now. Uh, we're at seven, I think. Yeah, seven. But you might have more gems, though, because you did do a flight level, right? Yeah. yeah. Start with. I have the. Uh, how many do I have? I have like a hundred forty right now. Hmm. I'm definitely going to get a lot more gems from uh, later levels of like Peacekeeper. Yeah, Peacekeeper is right. good on gem spots. Yeah. And it and definitely increased that. Yeah, the, I mean, like the level gives you a lot of gems because like, you can level out of the world. And just, isn't it 1,200 or something? No, it, it's, uh, it's, I think it's 1,500 actually. No, it's 1,200. I did a race to Magic Crawlers the other day, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, right, yeah it's yeah. still a lot of gems, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fire 1 doesn't give you a lot of gems. Like... Yeah. working for me for a second. <laughs> I could try the water puzzles, but if I if I mess it up I can use a lot of time. Yeah, it's it's a risk. I mean that's what a majority of the glitches are like in this game, just risks. I forgot to charge to ram. Oh, it. It's stone hill. <laughs> I got my second try. Alright. Grab all these gems. There we go. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to peacekeeper, son, I need to stay here. <laughs> Um, well, it's hard to tell if the all levels cheat. <laughs> oh. At least when I've I peek got... at the uh, inventory screen. <laughs> I, all I have done I think right like, now is dark like four so far, including Sunny Flight. Oh. Uh. Should I go for the, the, the chest or the key chest? If you want. It'll take a little time, yeah. but you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't think the payoff is really worth it. I guess we'll just grab Nice. There we go. Now those last two gym boxes are going to be up a little bit there. I accidentally went to the inventory, so that's level. I'm at 300 now. So once I do council where I can do that. I'm going to go back to the inventory. I'm going to go back to the inventory. I don't try going for the gem piece. 
it wastes a lot of time just going forward. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. The beams are annoying, yeah. Fortunately, you don't have to worry about it, really. Yeah, <laughs> like, it seems like you could be getting five minutes. I got 11 right now. And about 800 gems. Not bad. Yeah, doing not terribly. <laughs> I could swing around pretty quick. Hmm. Yeah, so it could be that Sunny Flight was a good idea. Yeah. I mean, killing the egg thief can sometimes be a good idea. Like, if it gets in your way, it's, it's certainly easier to hit it rather than avoid it, but... Alright, I have one more dragon left in town square, and then I should be done. You can only take the specific worlds from uh, Magic Crafters. That's to help you get eggs. Mm. Yeah, so if he takes you to one of those places, you have to say no. Yeah. Alright, so I think I have 15 dragons. something today when I was playing at Town Square was uh, if the bull hits you while you're jumping and you actually can like, get on the like, you're not supposed to. Yeah, you can actually get a little helping hand. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think he does kind of send you flying a little bit, so if you can aim it right. 
Yeah, with enough precision. Yeah. 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 Cameron is good for dragons, maybe not so much for gems. Yeah, I'm finding that out the hard way. Well, I mean, it's got some good gems, not many really fast oh, gems. Oh, okay. I just found a great gem. Gems are good gems if you beat him, but it's a case of beating him fast while not dying. Alright. If you're going too fast and you're going against champ, you're gonna like fall off the ledge or something. <laughs> yeah, I've suffered that mistake numerous times. Yeah, you can get like how many gems did we get for champ from champ? Like twenty? Um, um let's see. Probably about I think in total you, from just fighting you can actually get like forty. Really? Yeah, like, because after each hit, he drops more and more gems. Right, here we go. He drops, oh, I... like, 5 and 10 and, like, 15 or 20. Oh. <laughs> not a good shem at all. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> The only time I'm gonna go for chests is like when they're like a dark hollow chest where it's like right right in the direction. Uh like right on the way, yeah. Yeah. Unless unless the gems are actually like really important then Yeah. I mean, I think night flight is technically easier than sun flight, so. Sparks is a bit finicky with picking up gems during Spiral 1. Oh yeah, yeah, Spiral 1 is like... You have to actually, if you're charging though, you have to... Alright, 
now I just need to find some gems here. Oh, you yeah, have the 20 dragons. Yep. Uh, oh, shoot, really? Yep, exactly 20. No. So. Oh my god, I'm only, I'm only at like 18 or 19 right now. I was ahead of you for a second, now you're at him. Now you're ahead of me. Yeah, it's just a matter of just finding them next to each other. <laughs> Seems like the home world's yeah. a pretty good spot to do that. Like when you can find those five gems you have to get home all that, it becomes really convenient. There's lots of gems in here. Stone, Stone Hill loads you up with a lot of them. Still have quite a ways to go on gems though, <laughs> so you might be able to catch up. Alright, uh, how many gems do you have right Uh, 14,000. Oh, wow. I mean, only 800, like 800 or 900. Yeah, so you might want to reconsider to become um, Sunny Flight or something. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, like, I, I never actually can play with Sunny Flight. I don't want to play with Sunny Flight. It's probably going to waste a lot of time. Mm. Yeah, no, the flight level will definitely help you if you can get it. Yeah, last time I did I just flash track one train and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> Those trains always made it. Yeah, I missed the train. I need to, I need to go in these bats. It's gonna help the other people. Bats are a pain in the game. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry, I only see how smart I was like, I can't see the like a lot of chests, but I'm not really getting that many chests. It's just a lot of chests here. Oh, that's the, like, um, room after the supercharge run, isn't it? Yep. Uh, yeah, it's like a mixture of fives and twos, isn't it? Yeah, so it's not as many as it looks. <laughs> yeah. There's gems, and then there's the gem value. <laughs> yeah. But the fives are nice, but the twos... Not really as much. Well, there we go. Okay, that one sparks. He's fine. <laughs> you can take it. I usually use sparks to my advantage sometimes and like to like build like a certain sort of platform and like sure. taking it. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if I need to go to this part. Towers. Hmm. No, I am gonna try to get that one spot, not to towers. See if I can actually do it. Eh. Eh, yeah. Oh, you're talking about the part with the um, permanent super tank for the rest of the level, aren't you? I could do that. <laughs> I mean, you're talking about that area, though, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Actually, why am I getting dragons? I got dragons? all my dragons. I got, like, I got all my dragons my scout. I just noticed I'm you still know? getting dragons for some reason. Oh, yeah. I got 20 free. Why am I doing that? <laughs> you're doing it because you can. Because the checkpoint. Checkpoints are useful. Dragons are fun. See, the dragons need rescue. Find dragons versus Spyro. Yeah, the, the dragon's enemies open. Oh, that would be too much work. Hmm. That's gonna expire or do everything. I think the idea behind it is that they'll just—they're so big they'll just get turned back into stone again. That's kind of the idea behind Nasty's War Dragons.
So at this point, I'm probably just not gonna collect dragons. Yeah, you probably should. as much as I can out of it. That's about 650? That's about 400 more. Not bad, then. Drat. <laughs> no, I don't want to talk to you. Risk it another dragon. Yep. Oops. <laughs> He's trying to go to like the whirlwind thing, but oh. oh, oh, okay, that that's gonna set me back. I just um, <laughs> dang it. Okay, I just um, I uh, I was trying to jump over to the ledge over on the other side of the town, and I just I didn't make it. I had to go all the way back to the uh, I didn't collect any dragons. <laughs> yeah, that's Ooh. probably not what you want to happen. I'm sorry to hear that. against them, like, to knock you over or something, don't you? I'm just yeah, gonna capture... Something like that. I'm just gonna release any kills and just jump again, like, just have a place to go back. Mm. Alright, yeah. I made it. Flight, yep. I mean, hey, it's not a flight work, so I'm just gonna go over here instead. Fair enough. That'll put you enough gems to win, wouldn't it, then? Yeah, I think so. Oh my god. So, really yeah. <laughs> you have maybe like two minutes or something. Yeah, flight's too OP, please enough. Yeah, it kinda is. I mean, I have to reward you for doing it somehow. Yeah, true. Good route for it. the flight then that should yep. put you enough to win then maybe i might be like if you offer something <laughs> uh yep yep that's above 2000 okay i think i'm good uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. that's 2000 gems and 20 dragons obtained for you then yep all without going to uh magic crafters without turns, going out to magic you, turns out you don't need it <laughs> Congrats on your victory. Yeah, I messed up a lot. Like, to be honest, I, was, I really messed up. Uh, I, 
should I should I should practice sunny flight so like if I ever see some nice things that's gonna be good. Yeah. You know what? If you're doing any sort of run that involves collecting gems, the flights are kind of a must. Yeah, yeah cause they give you like um you know, a whole bunch for very little time. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, sounds good to me. I'm just going to goof around here now. The best part about finishing any speedrun, just goofing around. Yeah, I'm just going to mess with Jock or something. <laughs> I'll probably do a drag on it a little bit. But like that's not usually what I'm doing. Yeah, so that we get like a better idea of you know, where you can find gems and drag and all that. I'll probably do a lot of targeting. So, Desert Monkey, this was your final race at Round 1, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I think so. Nice. And, uh, I think it's like... That's your second, isn't it? Yep, so it's yeah, like two to one. Yeah, I won my first one, my first run. Hmm. Alright. That's the one between, like, um, you between, uh, Astra. Well, maybe because I have to count the things up, and... I got to say what it is, you have to watch the match for it. <laughs> I have to count for all the times you pay for money bags. You know, like, this is the actual amount versus the amount that's on screen. Yeah, it's kind of hard to kind of, you know, keep count. like a little program that can just like a very specific case program that actually counts the chimps for you. Oh that'd make it that would be convenient, yeah. Somebody needs to make that for lunch or something. Yeah. I'm sure someone can like say, okay, this value decreased, so there must have been a payment somewhere. What what levels what level should I go to first? Uh, peacekeepers or? No, uh, no, uh, uh, peacekeepers. Peacemakers. Um, well, if you want to risk it, treetops are a lot of good gem spots. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Terrace Village offers a few good ones as well.
No, now I'm just looking at Josh and I'm like, man, I didn't realize he looked this bad in retrospect. <laughs> I'm curious to see how Jocks will look in the um, Reunited trilogy, actually. Yeah, because here you kind of have to use your imagination. It's supposed to be like an evil gesture looking thing or something. Yeah. And in the Reunited trilogy, he'll be the stuff of madness. Probably. I'm probably not going to buy Reunited before it comes out. Yeah. I canceled my pre order for the Pinnacle Edition. Like, I don't want to have to like download. Like, I don't, it's pretty much the fact that like, I, I don't actually want to at that point. It's like, it's just out there and like, I'm living my hand. Yeah, they kind of like drop the ball and go, like, either we could put it on a disc or we're not going to put it on a disc. But I called I it for one it. thing, but I can also understand why they might be doing it because they're just. It. I, I, I feel like they could have easily put all the games in this vlog and the and assets and stuff like that and the mm -hmm. So, yeah. like, it all comes to, like, in the Blu ray and the Blu ray are, like, this that's a place where you just, like, just get up to the gig for the space. Yeah, so they have more than enough. Yeah. I don't think it's that they're not on the disc, it's that they'll need an update to work, so. Ah. Yeah. Uh. I don't know about that. that. They ran out of time to put everything on the disc, so they're releasing the final parts as an update. Yeah, I, th I think I'm, I'm finally seeing what they've done. Yeah, but I'm like, but like, I don't think that they should have, like, say, oh yeah, if you don't have the stage patch, you can't play the game. Yeah. Like, you I mean, the player games with, like, all these glitches and stuff like that. You can't do one. I mean, I mean you know. glitches and bugs, I understand, but uh, if you have, like, a trilogy and two of the games don't come onto disc, you got you got problems. <laughs> you, I mean, they probably think we've done that before it gone. Yeah, you think they would have done that before it gone gold and all that. At least have something yeah. on there. Eh. Kind of leveraging, you know, online connectivity and all that, which I guess is fine. It's a it's a tool we can use now, but at the same time, I you know I, I want what I paid for on the box. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, all right, so uh, where are you in uh, gym count? Uh, I call, it's probably right now I'm probably at 1,000 or 700. Okay. I actually surprised myself a little bit. Last time I didn't so do so well in chips now. I don't know, am I getting lucky here? <laughs> I, I, I think it's just the fact that I, I know I have I suppose that's uh, one point in my favor at least. I didn't know if like you could do like the fight level that fast eater, I had to actually look it up. Because there's actually a faster route. Had to know about it because of, like this one bingo match that required you to do it. I guess I'd say dragons are easier because at least there's not so many of them to keep track of.
wonder. I'm gonna try that one thing. Probably not gonna be able that to do it though. <laughs> and what is this one thing? Well, it's something I see, I uh, saw Katie try to do. She didn't really manage to do it, so. You know, I'm gonna give it a shot. Why not? It's like getting into like one of the uh, portals in Ganassi's world early. <laughs> like there's like a little spot you can uh, kind of pass through. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen this happen before, but I don't see how it's possible, honestly. I mean, I see how it's possible, it's just doesn't look easy. Yeah, the problem though is that I need, well, as far as I'm aware, this thing has to be open to get a little closer. <laughs> They're like, no, I can just retry with that. Nah. <laughs> I'm gonna do it legit if I can. Save states kill the fun. Yeah. Well, maybe. Until you do it like 50 times and you go like, okay, maybe it's warranted. Yeah, true. It's... I think there's also like a proxy you can do to get into one of them early. Yeah, maybe. I think it involves like jumping on one of the rats in a specific place. Yeah, that's the only thing you probably proxy on in here. Everything else yeah. does not move. Sometimes it just catches you off guard. Yeah. It happens sometimes. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to be there. Oh, what did you discover? Eh, uh, somehow the polygons are connected right here. Doesn't mean I can get through it, I don't think. Oh, among the poles. Yeah, like, one of them just is not fully covered for some reason. Intriguing. I mean, that's very easy to see. I think they would caught that, but I guess not. Hmm. Yeah, literally, like, I guess, like, there's a quad polygon just folding oh. on top of itself. That's probably why it's breaking. Hmm. The MME just said he's got to go, but he did. He's got everything recorded, so. Oh. All right, well. It's pretty close, so I guess yeah. they'll uh, work out well enough. Yeah. It was like five minutes or so, so I think that's good enough time to go like, okay, draw time doesn't even take into account here, so not whatever. Yeah. All right, so I guess um, for the most part, that's it for this match. So uh, for those of you who are still hanging around, thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully, Maybe I'll do well in round two, or I might not, because round two is more of a single match elimination, so I, I may or may not get knocked out uh, into yeah. the, uh, you know, the second bracket. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, yeah. see you later.